What's going on people? It's the Xbox 448 bringing you another video straight from Upload Studio. Now the reason for this video right now is um, DirectX 12. Now there's been some back and forth going on ever since it's been announced the DirectX 12, the new API and how it's going to be integrated into the Xbox One. Now first thing I would like to say is I believe that this console was strictly made with DX12 in mind. So in other words, I believe that Microsoft um, actually rushed the launch because they didn't want to give Sony that, that head start. And what they did is they used uh, DirectX 11.2 as a benchmark basically to get those um, to get those launch games out and you know certain games you, within the first few months, possibly half a year or so. I, I do believe that after E3, you're going to start seeing games coming out that have more and more um, tools utilized with DirectX 12. Maybe not the full API, but I believe you're going to see some definite uh, graphic enhancements, some definite uh, gameplay enhancements. But um, the, the reason why I did make this video is there was one thing that caught my eye, and I, I believe people might be downplaying it a little too much. And what it is is... Um, the enabling of, of all the cores, the multiple cores in the processing unit, I believe it's the CPU, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, the X1 has an 8 core CPU and um, as of right now, one core basically takes care of most of the processing and then when that gets filled, uh, uh, little bits of information go to the other cores, but it's, uh, it's an un uneven scale. Now with DX12, what they're going to do is they're going to take all the, the processing data and distribute it equally among the multiple cores. Now, uh, through my research, I haven't heard of um, any multi-core units within the PC or the console that actually handle the data this way. And, and that is a significant improvement over what's being done now. Now, you know, within this video, I definitely want to hear what you you guys have to say about this if you guys know of any cores that are used by either PC or console uh, well any units where the cores are used in such a manner I, I would definitely love to hear it and um you know I'll, I'll do the research on, on what information you guys give me but with doing this I can see uh, a 50% what they call power increase now when they say power increase, it, it doesn't mean actual power. It means that spec sheet that they used before has to be completely redone because no processing units have processed data this way before. This is the way I'm reading it. And like I said, yo, guys, let me know if I'm wrong here. <laughs> and give me some good reasons why. Give me some links and such. I, I definitely want it. I, I, I've been looking into this and I haven't seen anything to steer me in any other way. But um, with distributing the data equally throughout all the cores, you, you leave so much more room for more stuff to be processed. You know, it'll give you the 1080p and the 60 frames per second, but I believe it's going to go beyond that. I believe the graphics are going to be absolutely insane. And I don't believe um, you're not going to see some of this until holiday 2015. I think Microsoft is keeping it under wraps that within their first party studios, they're already implementing a lot of the tools with DX12 and that's going to be one of the showstoppers at E3 this year. And um, you know, these are these are my opinions. I could be wrong, but this is this is what I'm reading in the tea leaves per se. Definitely want to know what you guys uh, think about this. Um, you know, leave it in the comments below. Let's get a conversation going. As usual, if you like my video, hit that thumbs up button for me. Uh, definitely subscribe and, you know, always comment. But um, this is the Xbox. Out.